In part one of this video, we began looking at area of odd shapes that we didn't have a formula for, and we found out we had to slice them up into shapes we could find the area. And we did an example where shapes were attached to each other. We had a triangle, a half circle, and a rectangle that were attached to each other, and we found those individual areas and then added them together. What I want to do now is where we've got shapes cut out. Here, we've got to find the area of the shaded region. So we just want the blue on top and the blue on the bottom. How much area do we have total in this odd shape? Well, we notice we have three circles. First, we've got a big circle. For the area of the big circle, we take pi times the radius squared. And fortunately, that 2 millimeters, that is the radius. So we'll replace pi with 3.14 the radius with the 2 millimeters squared. And following order of operations, we do the exponent first. So 3.14 times 2 squared is 4 square millimeters. And then multiply the 3.14 times the 4 square millimeters, and we get 12.56 square millimeters. But that represents the entire circle in blue. We're cutting out these two little circles. Both circles are the same size, so let's just say we've got small circles. Pi times the radius squared, but this time, to get the radius... Let's clean out this right side so we can see what we're doing. The radius of the small circle from center to edge is not 2, 2's the diameter going all the way through. The radius is half of it, or 1 millimeter. So now we have pi, or 3.14, times the radius, which is 1 millimeter squared. Exponents first, we have 3.14 times 1 squared is 1 millimeter squared. And then finally, multiplying 3.14 times 1, we get 3.14 square millimeters for the area of both of those, or of each of those small circles. Those small circles, however, are not counted in the area. They're cut out of the area, if you will. So to find our total area, we'll take this 12.56 millimeters squared, and we're going to subtract out, or cut out, the 3.14. That's the first circle we subtracted out. And then we're going to subtract out the second circle as well. It's the same size, 3.14 millimeters squared. And we can calculate this with our calculators real fast. 12.56 minus 3.14 minus 3.14. We end up with the leftover area of 6.28 millimeters squared is left in the top and bottom portions of this odd shape. So if we have an odd shape, we don't have a formula for it, we simply have to slice it up into pieces to find the areas. We can then find those individual pieces that we do have formulas for, and if they're attached to each other, we'll add the parts that are attached. If a shape is cut out, we'll subtract the part that is cut out to get our final area.